Here we are in our new game save. This one is titled July. And I've made a friend. Although he's hiding from me at the moment. Really? There he is. Hello, friend. Hi. Pet, 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 pet. Okay. So far, I have located a trader. And I probably will end up spending the night there because it's getting late. Oh, my first cave of July. Yay. Let's see. I think we can safely go down here, even though we have absolutely nothing. Oops. Okay. We have six ladders. That should be very helpful. Um, yeah, I don't even have a, uh, okay. Clearly we are not prepared for this adventure. Bonus. We're ready now. Let's move one of those up here. Just in case we hit water, we don't want to lose both of them. Oh, what a nice little place that has nothing to offer. We'll call this a baby cave. Right. Pretty sure I'm going to lose my uh, torch. So we are going to head back to the trader and just hang out there. I found lead. Hang out there until uh, we get better light to see by. I have already gotten the. Uh, cattails and made four baskets so I have a, a little bit of inventory there I have loaded uh, four four mods I think and I can already see one of them needs to be updated because it's not this should be giving me uh, more bold little markings here and they're not so I need to look at the uh, the settings for that particular mod. I did also see that it has an has an updated one for the updated um, base game. So I will go get that and see if that helps the situation. I really hi Noah. I really miss uh, having all the little toys and treasures I had in the other saves. Yeah, this one I had flint tools and I forgot, you know, you, you gotta go out and find that stuff. And it's, it's not abundant in this area. So, but I found just enough. Got a knife and an axe and a shovel. Um, why are you blinking, Noah? Was, was I blinking my eyes and it looked like you were blinking? What do you want? You know, I didn't even ask you what you have. I'm sorry. Oh, I can sell to you. Yes, because clearly I have all those items. No, I have none of those things. And I don't need any of that, so thanks. Hey, I'm gonna <clears throat> hang out with you tonight if that's okay, because it's not nice weather out here to be wandering. And I don't want my torch to go out if I go wandering. But I'd also like to find some food. Hmm. 
I wonder if my boar friend is still around and would like to sacrifice himself for my survival. You know, it's what a good friend would do for another. Okay, we've been here. Yeah, I have probably explored a whole 20 blocks from the trader. Okay, that was a baby. Where... Oh my. Where might the adults be? I also don't have any mods in here that um, expand food. The making of food. Well, hi there. Okay. I don't have a weapon to... I'm not going to attack you, are you? Oh, shucks. I just need a little bit of... Oh, man. I just wanted a bite. Okay. Um... Where is the supermarket in this one? There's no fish. One reason that I have not installed all of the mods I had was because I wanted to get familiar with what the base game offered. Also, if the villagers cannot um, operate gates or doors that come with some of the mods for whatever reason, I want to make sure I know which ones um, are base game, and then I assume that, uh, that the villagers can operate them. So, so that's another reason why I haven't put any of the uh, expansion type of mods in here. Is, is this going to kill me? Let's find out. No, it didn't kill me. <gasps> Ooh, copper. Bonus. Oh, look. We've already found that. Okay. This game can certainly make you feel like you're traveling in circles. And then it makes you feel very dumb for doing so. And uh, if you remember when I first started, I couldn't find my little mini-map. Well, I found it, as you can see. I also... Because I haven't started a game in a very long time, it's been at least two months, and I have a very bad memory for things, um... I did find this. It looked like this when I started. I was like, okay, where's all my stuff? And there was one thing that was making me a little crazy. View bobbing. Turn that off. Otherwise, your head bobs up and down when you're walking around, and it's really quite annoying. So, that's, you know, my little bit of advice for this particular screen. Anyway, let's see. Back to walking in circles. Yeah, we're just um, we're just gonna take this uh, few minutes and get familiar with what's going on. Oh, one of the uh, mods I did install is the um, the traders. The trader camp, where you can get more than one trader in a place. So, hoping to, uh... Yes, I'm home. I wasn't, I, I wasn't out late. You're just old and need your rest. I was not out late. Let's see. 
We do need to find food. Because I can't eat any of these things I have in my inventory. Yeah, kind of got spoiled with those uh, expansive type of mods that give you just a, a bazillion different food options. You know, where you can just walk right past it and say, I've, I've had enough. And I just, um, I'm not sure how realistic that is. I'm, maybe there's some parts of the world where way back then it was that easy to find food. But then I'm supposing there are other parts of the world where it's not. So, it's, I can't walk out my front door right now and find food. There's no, no, no berry bushes, no fruit trees. And certainly no boar running by at a slow speed. Let's see, where can we go from here? And I don't know if going toward water would be helpful because I can't fish. Um, the only thing I can get from water would be maybe air of the root, the cattail roots. You can cook those up and eat those. They don't, uh, they don't offer a lot, but it's food. It'll sustain you for a minute. <gasps> What's this? Oh, sulfur. Okay, I'm not sure I need that at this point. I can't eat it. It would be kind of nice if, um, when you stumbled upon a village, you know, the first thing they offered you was a hearty meal. But, as as I know, I don't know if you know, but villagers don't actually eat borax. So, there really is no food, you know, prepared. If they've got a garden growing, they might have something that might be uh, ready to harvest and nibble on. But I haven't come across too many villages where they had food just ready to go this early on. I mean, we're on day one. Okay. What's this? <gasps> food? Let's see if there's anything left for us. There is. Thank you, Mr. Bunny. All right. Now, we need firewood. We need a tree. Great. Now there's no tree. really can't see very well. <gasps> Look, a tree! Alright. I'm just going to grab one little branch of it. Okay, I didn't... I didn't mean to render you naked. I just wanted a branch. I just need to make a fire. Ooh. All kinds of things out here. And again, if you uh, didn't already know, I have the No Monsters mod from Lance installed. That was the first thing I did. So we should not encounter any monsters. 
I think we will get the warnings in our notifications that we have so many days before they appear. <clears throat> but we only get warned. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Dessert! Yay! All right. Any more? This looks like the area to find them. All right. Let's, um... Seven days. Uh, yeah, we can live on our fat for seven days before there's more berries to be had, right? All right. These are cranberries. Is this the berry? I think that's the berry. All right. We're going to mark that just in case we need fast food again. Uh, let's see. Where are we? Oh, wow. I have kind of wandered away, haven't I? And not seeing too much of anything to explore. I wonder what that is. I mean, in the way of either ruins or... There's ruins. Or a village or a trader camp. I'm not saying they're not out there. It's just that some of this stuff could be just about anything. Alright, let's just continue to wander. Um, let's aim for the ruins. Yeah, let's go that way. We have um, firewood. Well, we have a log. We'll make firewood. And we have a torch and a fire starter. So we can uh, cook the meat. And continue to explore. Well, hi there. How are you? Hi. Yeah, you're lucky. I'm not feeling very... Yeah. Hunty at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna continue to grab these things because. All right. Now. I don't know if this is gonna work. Where's my other? Because. There. Okay. It didn't work. It went out in the rain. Okay. Um, as I was saying, I want to continue to collect the uh, cattails so that I can make storage baskets. I've got my inventory baskets, but I need storage baskets. Look at this. Brown coal. Alright. Let's put that on the map. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I really, really want to find the the uh, adjustments for this because this should be much bolder. You can barely see it. My other one, I liked it because it had uh, had a nice frame around it, and I could see it from a distance. It didn't blend in. I also need to set my macro keys. Okay, that's a not what I intended to do. Okay. Don't fall anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay. Getting out 
of there. Oh, and we're going totally the wrong way. Conglomerate stone. Can that make tools? Okay, what's this? Ore. Do we need ore at the moment? No, but we could use the flint. Yeah, I don't think we need ore. Okay. Shift and carry. Why does it say that? Can I actually carry this? It's not allowing me to, so I don't think I can. Yeah, I guess all I can do is break it. Can't shift and carry. Alright, what is this? Quartz. Okay. A completely useless item at the moment. And I do not have enough cattails to make a storage box to leave it here. So, you might end up sacrificing some things. But we are at the ruins. And it's getting light out. Okay. So. We are going to take a break here, <clears throat> install a few more mods, and when we come back, hopefully we find our first village. Because with the village, I get to use creative mode to acquire some things and my payment for expanding their village is any items I want. Oh, look at this. What's this? It's just a little peek of something, but I'm going to mark it and we will go and investigate it. Alright. We'll be back.